सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अपन अ टॉपिक विच इज वेरी 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 बेनिफिशियल फॉर द पम्प्स एंड द टॉपिक विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो इज एन पी एस एच विच इज नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हैड ओके सो गाइज पर्टिक्यूलरली इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग वॉट इज एन पी एस एच इन ब्रीफ and followed by in the next upcoming videos we would be discussing upon the factors which affect npsh that we would also look at how to calculate npsh required and psh available differences between npsh available and required and many more so guys stay tuned for the upcoming videos okay now let's get started with this video where we are looking at what is npsh guys before we start with the npsh let's briefly discuss out how a pump works so guys a pump works by using power to suck fluid in from one place that is the suction side then move it through the internal mechanism and finally push out of the other place that is at the discharge side and this process creates a continuous flow of the fluid so guys this is how a fluid is been transferred from the suction side to the discharge side by utilizing the mechanism inside the pump okay and now to have smooth transfer of fluid and also to prevent the pump from mechanical wear we used to calculate or take care of npsh okay guys now to understand npsh in a easy way let's discuss it first of all with the help of an example of straw so guys imagine that your pump is like a straw sucking up a drink when you suck a straw you create suction right now with a pump there's also a suction thing happening but we need to make sure that there is enough force to keep the fluid moving and to avoid bubbling formation okay and guys that's where npsh comes in guys talking about npsh available this is like the force or pressure which is available at the suction side of the pump and it is influenced by things like how high the fluid is above the pump and how fast it is moving towards the pump okay similarly talking about npsh required this is the minimum force or pressure which is needed at the suction side to keep the fluid moving smoothly okay every pump has its own requirement for this so guys you want the force available which is npsh available to be higher than what the pump needs which is npsh required and if it is like that the pump works happily without any issues but if the force available isn't enough then it's like trying to drink from a straw that's too thin or too long it starts to struggle and might even make weird noises and that's cavitation and it's bad news for the pump because it can damage them over a long period of time okay guys so engineers make sure that the pump has enough force which is npsh available by designing things carefully like how the fluid gets to the pump and how big the pump is and that way the pump keeps doing its job properly without any hiccups okay guys this was just a simple example to make things easy for you to understand okay now we will be looking at the definition in terms of technical words so guys Firstly NPSH stands for net positive suction head it's a critical parameter in pump design and operations particularly for centrifugal pumps which are commonly used in various industries and commercial applications guys NPSH is essentially a measure of the amount of pressure available at the suction side of the pump to prevent the formation of vapor or cavitation within the pump Now guys you might be thinking that what is this cavitation guys cavitation is a phenomena that occurs in fluid dynamics when the pressure of a liquid drops to the point where it vaporizes and forms small vapor bubbles or cavities within the fluid within the liquid these vapor bubbles can subsequently collapse and explode or implode when the pressure increases again okay which generates a intense localized forces and often produce distinctive sound waves 
This can lead to various problems such as reduced pump efficiency, mechanical damage to pump component and even undesirable noises. So guys in simple words, if you don't take care of NPSH, if you don't focus on NPSH, then it will lead to cavitation. And cavitation is a phenomena which severely impacts or severely affects the pump working. And it is only caused when the pressure of the liquid which is flowing in the pump reduces below its vapor pressure, which will lead to formation of the vapor bubbles or cavities. And ultimately, that vapor bubbles or cavities causes damage to the pump components. Okay? So guys, I hope a simple definition of NPSH is clear to you. Now, guys, in this video, we are moving towards the two main types of NPSH, which is NPSH available and NPSH required. First of all, talking about NPSH available. Guys, NPSH available is net positive suction head available. Guys, it is a critical parameter in pump operation, particularly in preventing the cavitation. It represents the absolute pressure available at the suction side of the pump measured in terms of fluid vapor pressure. Okay, NPSH available is calculated to ensure that the pump pressure at the suction inlet is sufficient to prevent the formation of vapor bubbles within the pump and which can lead to cavitation. Cavitation occurs when the pressure drops below the vapor pressure of the fluid causing it to vaporize and form bubbles. These bubbles can call up violently as the pressure increases and potentially it causes damage to the pump and reduce its efficiency. Okay, guys, the formula to calculate NPSH available is NPSH available is equals to static head plus velocity head plus pressure head minus vapor pressure. Okay, guys. So in simple words, NPSH available is a critical parameter for pump operation to prevent it from getting cavitated. And to calculate NPSH available, we should use the formula which is static head plus velocity head plus pressure head minus vapor pressure. And on calculating it, we can get NPSH available. Okay guys, now up next we are going to discuss the second type of NPSH which is NPSH required. Guys, NPSH required stands for net positive suction head required. It is also a critical parameter in pump design and operations, particularly in prevention of cavitation. Both the terms NPSH available and NPSH required play a vital role in terms of preventing the pump from getting cavitated. Okay guys, talking about NPSH required, it represents the minimum pressure which is required at the suction port of the pump to avoid cavitation. Guys, NPSH required is determined by the pump manufacturer and it is typically provided in pump performance curves or specifications. Guys, NPSH required depends on various factors including the pump design, impeller, geometry, operating speed and fluid properties. So guys, in simple words, NPSH required is a parameter which is critical for pump operation to prevent getting pump from getting cavitated and this NPSH required represents the minimum pressure which is required at the suction port to avoid the pump from getting cavitated and this NPSH required is not calculated by us but it is given by the manufacturer to us okay now guys at the end talking about the equation of NPSH NPSH is equals to NPSH available minus NPSH required okay to clarify it more if the NPSH available is greater than NPSH required means the value of NPSH available is greater than that of NPSH required then we will ultimately get a positive figure and that will show that the pump is not getting cavitated means the pump will operate without cavitation however if the NPSH available is insufficient then cavitation can occur means if the NPSH available is less than NPSH required then we would get our NPSH which is negative and in those cases where the NPSH is negative then pump will ultimately get cavitated okay leading to performance degradation and potential damage to the pump so guys engineer and operator must ensure that NPSH available exceeds the NPSH required for the pump to operate reliably and efficiently this might involve 
the proper design of suction piping appropriate selection of pump size and type and consideration of the operating conditions such as fluid temperature and viscosity okay guys so guys that's all for this video where we discuss about what is npsh and in brief we also discuss about npsh available and npsh required so guys that's all for this video hope you like this video thank you for watching and guys for more video related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you next video